So this here XTech Wire Tracer Probe is a super handy tool. If you've got a situation where you've got some wiring, an outlet, something on a circuit that you don't know where it goes to, this tool can help you identify other components, help you figure out what circuit it's on. It may not be a tool that gets used every day, but it's handy when you find a situation where you're trying to just troubleshoot some wiring, this is the tool for you. So I'm gonna show you what's included with it, how to use it. So this here wire tracer kit comes with everything you need to trace down and track those wires. Comes with the probe, a little handheld unit there. Comes with the transmitter, comes with the manual. So both the probe and the transmitter, they require a nine volt battery. And what's great is they are included with the kit. So you get two nine volt batteries that are able to power both the transmitter and the probe. So these two components work together. You've got the transmitter here that has the alligator clips. You connect those onto the wires that you're looking to trace and the transmitter will essentially send a signal through those wires. And then the probe can be used to kind of trace down and figure out where those wires lead to and it gives you an audible sound so that you know you're on the right path. So looking closer at the wire tracer transmitter here, you can see it's got a couple LEDs, a red and a green. So those essentially indicate the two modes. You've got a tone mode, and there's a switch on the side here. So if you flip that up, tone light, the red light is on. That indicates that you're in tone mode. And what that does is when you have these clipped to a wire, and then you have your probe on, it's gonna be sending out a tone essentially as you get closer and closer to the signal essentially to where the transmitter is sending out that signal so the tone mode is the mode that i actually use the most because if i've got a wire that i'm not sure kind of where it runs through behind the wall this mode allows me to essentially run my probe along the wall i don't actually have to cut open the wall but I can use the tone from the probe to kind of trace down and follow that wire through the wall, through the ceiling. Helps me figure out kind of where it goes without actually having to see it. So then the other mode that we have here is continuity. And this is a pretty basic function. It's just checking to see if two ends of a wire are connected together. So I've got it on right now. You can see the green LED is not on. But if I go ahead and touch the two leads of these alligator clips together, that continuity light turns on. So that essentially allows you to connect uh, an end of one wire to one lead and another wire to another lead. And if you get the continuity there, that kind of tells you they're on the same circuit, there's connection. And aside from the alligator clips here on the transmitter, there is a little jack here that you can plug into telephone lines and that will essentially serve the same purpose. It'll send signal through the telephone wires that you can then use uh, the probe to track or trace those down. So the probe here is required if you're gonna be using the tone mode with the transmitter. And so this is essentially your speaker device and you're gonna be listening for the signal sent through the transmitter, through the wires, and it's gonna send out a tone as you're getting closer. And it's really basic. There's essentially just one operation to it. You've got this little thumb wheel here that's in the off position. You turn it on, you get the power LED that turns on, and the higher you scroll up, the higher that volume's gonna be. So here's just a quick example. I've got a bathroom outlet here that's pretty much stopped working. I'm pretty much getting only a couple volts out of it. Should be 120 volts. It's only one wire coming in, and um, it's just not giving me the power supply that I'd expect. So I've got my tracer here, and essentially right now I've got the I've got the transmitter set to tone mode. I've got the two alligator clips set on both the neutral and hot lines from the wire. And you can see here, as we dial this up and put it close to those leads, we get the tone, and then this thumb dial can kind of turn the volume down or turn that off. But what I'm trying to do is figure out exactly where this uh, wire is connected to in our circuit. Just note here, I've got the circuits all turned off at the breaker box, so I don't have power right now to any of these that I'm testing. 
So another side of the swell is where that outlet is that I've got my transmitter connected to. And what's nice is you can almost kind of trace the wire just by following the strength of the tone. The further away you get from it, you lose the tone. So definitely a handy tool if you're looking to troubleshoot or investigate any of your wiring. This is a great solution to help you see what's behind the walls without actually having to open the walls up. So I've gone into another bathroom here. And this tone is definitely very strong. And a couple of outlets in here. So essentially you can just kind of walk around the house and see where this tone gets stronger. And that's going to help lead you to other areas connected to the same wire or circuit. So here's an example of just a random outlet in the house. You can kind of hear the tone a little bit, but you can hear a lot of static. So this indicates that it's still picking up a little bit of the signal from where I've got the transmitter connected to, but this definitely wouldn't be connected to the same circuit. So after using the tracer, I was able to find a loose wire in the other bathroom at the outlets and I was able to tighten the connection and get this outlet working. I've got my 120 volts. Outlets are back to normal, in large part thanks to this tracer. It saved me a lot of time in terms of not having to chase around various wires throughout the house. This kind of led me to wires that were connected to the same circuit.